ओके फ्रेंड्स सो वेलकम बैक वेलकम बैक इन द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस एलिवेटर ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू ऑल्सो कवर द थिंग्स दैट आई हैव डिस्कस्ड इन फर्स्ट पार्ट दैट मीन्स आई एम डिसाइडेड आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू कॉन्टैक्ट द एंटायर लेक्चर ऑफ प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस इनिवेटर टूगेदर ओके सो नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द फर्स्ट वन दैट इज फिफ्टी एस सब यूनिट इनिवेटर दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अर्ल इयर दैट इज क्लोराम फेनिकॉल ओके सो क्लोराम फेनिकॉल इज ए सिंथेटिक ड्रग ओके इट ब्लॉक्स द पेप्टाइडल ट्रांसफारेज एंड इनिविट द पेप्टाइड बॉन फॉर्मेशन एंड इंटर्न प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस सो बी एस बी एस मीन्स इट इज बैक्टीरियो स्टैटिक इनिशियली बट इट मे बिकम बैक्टीरियो सीरियल वेन यू आर यूजिंग क्लोराम फेनिकॉल टू फॉर दैट काइंड ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम फॉर हुईच क्लोराम फेनिकॉल एक्टिंग वेरी इजिली नॉट ओनली दैट इट इज ऑल्सो आई वॉन्ट टू मेन्शन दैट बैक्टीरियो सीरियल ऑल्सो अकार वेन यू आर यूजिंग ए हाई कन्सेंट्रेशन अफ क्लोराम फेनिकॉल ओके सो साइड इफेक्ट सर इट इनिबिट्स और इट कॉजेज ए प्लस्टिक एनिमिया इट कैन इनिबिट द प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस इन माइट्रोकॉन्ड्रिया ओके सो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट क्लोराम फेनिकॉल सो लेट्स रिवाइज अगेन क्लोराम फेनिकॉल इज ए सिंथेटिक एंटीबायोटिक इट ब्लॉक्स द फिफ्टी एस आइबोसोमल सब यूनिट एंड इनिबिट पेप्टाइडल ट्रांसफारेस एंड दैट हाउ दे इनिबिट पेप्टाइड बॉन्ड फॉर्मेशन एंड एज ए रिजल्ट इट इनिबिट प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस राइट सो इट इज बैक्टीरियो स्टैटिक यूजली बट मे ऑल्सो भी बैक्टीरियो सीरियल इन एडवर्स कंडीशन राइट सो क्लोराम फेनिकॉल हैव सम साइड इफेक्ट ऑल्सो so what are the side effect it can cause aplastic anemia and also inhibit mitochondrial protein synthesis okay so then we have discussed about the macrolides macrolides is isolated from saccharopolyphora erythrea okay so examples it causes it it is uh, it includes erythromycin azithromycin clarithromycin dithromycin okay so macrolides it reversibly bind with the 50s ribosomal subunits p site and inhibits the elongation of the peptide chain and as a result it inhibits the protein synthesis right and it also blocks the translocation okay so now it cause it it is used for various kind of pneumonia like infection for example that is pneumonia that is caused by legionella and mycoplasma helicobacter pylori infection and certain gastrointestinal tract infection for example our campylobacter and some sexually transmitted diseases for example chlamydia and gonorrhea right so that is all about our macrolides so macrolides is isolated from saccharopolyphora erythrea it's bind to 50s ribosomal sub unit irreversibly okay reversibly at its p site right and as it is the as a, and that's how it inhibit the elongation of the peptide chain okay and interfere with protein synthesis right by blocking translocation okay so pneumonia causing uh, pneumonia causing bacteria can be treated with the help of macrolides for example let's say legionella type infection and mycoplasma type infection it also inhibits helicobacter pylori infection and certain gastrointestinal tract infection caused by campylobacter sexually transmitted disease chlamydia and gonorrhea can be also treated with the help of macrolides okay so we can also use uh, the, the lincosamide as a 50f subunit inhibitor it is a semi synthetic drug and we have isolated lincosamide from actinomyces okay so it blocks 50s or it binds with the 50f subunit and blocks the elongation okay so lindomycin lincomycin are, are example of lincosamide and we are i say we have used lincosamide for treating gram positive and some anaerobic bacterial infection okay so that is all about lincosamide so lincosamide is a semi synthetic antibiotic okay so it again a 50s sub unit inhibitor that means it will bind with the 50s sub unit right and after binding with the 50s so the sub unit it will block what it will block the elongation right so now examples are lindomycin lincomycin gram positive and some anaerobic bacteria so then another kind of antibiotics that we have discussed for example streptogramin 
सो स्टेप्टोग्रामीन आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स नॉन पेप्टाइड एंड साइक्लिक पेप्टाइड नॉन पेप्टाइड एग्जाम्पल डालफोपिस्टिन सो डालफोपिस्टिन विल डिस्टॉट द राइबोजोम एंड एज ए रिजल्ट टी आर एन ए कैन नॉट बाइंड ओके एंड एज टी आर एन ए कैन नॉट बाइंड एमाइन एसिड कैन नॉट बी इंसर्टेड एंड एज ए रिजल्ट प्रोटीन विल नॉट फॉर्म और प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस विल बी इनिबिटेड आफ्टर डालफोपिस्टिन इन साइक्लिक पेप्टाइड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट क्विन्यूप्रिस्टिन सो क्विन्यूप्रिस्टिन विल ब्लॉक द ट्रांसलोकेशन ओके सो दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट आवर फिफ्टी एस सब यूनिट इनिबिटर्स राइट सो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट प्रोडाम फेनिकॉल्स विच इज सिंथेटिक इनिबिटर्स सो दिस प्रोडाम फेनिकॉल विल अटैक द फिफ्टी एस सब यूनिट एंड इट इनिबिट्स द पेप्टाइडल ट्रांसफरेंस एंड दैट्स हाउ दे इनिबिट द पेप्टाइड बॉन्ड फॉर्मेशन राइट एंड दैट्स हाउ दे इनिबिट द प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस राइट सो इट इज मेनली बैक्टीरियोस्टेटिक बट कैन भी बैक्टीरियोसिडियल इन हायर कंडीशन राइट सो प्रोडाम फेनिकॉल्स इज useful all obviously but it have some disadvantages or side effects too for example it can cause aplastic anemia it can also inhibit mitochondrial protein synthesis right so macrolides macrolides are isolated from saccharopolysphora erythrea and which is also a 50s subunit inhibitor it blocks with the blocks to the p site of the 50s subunit inhibitor inhibit irreversibly uh, and it inhibit the peptide chain elongation right and that's how they blocks the translocation okay so it causes pneumonia cause it uh, prevents sorry not causes it prevents pneumonia that is caused by legionella and mycoplasma so macrolide also inhibits helicobacter pylori infection and certain gastrointestinal tract infection caused by campylobacter okay and various sexually transmitted disease is also treated by macrolide for example chlamydia and gonorrhea erythromycin dithromycin azithromycin cladithromycin saccharopolysphora erythrea is the source of the macrolide right so we have also discussed that it is bacteriocidal it is bacteriocidal and bacteriostatic right but it is usually bacteriostatic but in adverse condition it can be bacterio cidal right so here we have discussed about macrolides so macrolides again let's try to revise it again because the more and more you revise the more it will be very clearly stored in your mind so it is important so macrolides macrolides is extracted from saccharopolysphora erythrea so macrolide will bind reversibly with the p site of the 50s so here ribosomal subunit right and that's how they inhibit peptide bond elongation right and that's how they blocks the translocation right so macrolides is example erythromycin azithromycin cladithromycin and dithromycin so pneumonia causing legio causing by legionella and mycoplasma bacteria are inhibited by macrolide and again it can inhibit the helicobacter pylori infection it can inhibit some kind of strip, uh, sexually transmitted disease for example chlamydia gonorrhea and certain gastrointestinal tract infection caused by campylobacter so now they we have also discussed about lincosamide so lincosamide for example lindomycin and lincomycin are the examples right it is semi synthetic and it is uh, isolated from actinomyces source okay so it blocks the 50s uh, ribosomal subunit and it specially blocks the elongation right then streptogramin streptogramin are divided into two parts one is non peptide another one is cyclic peptide so example of non peptide are talfopristin right and it distorts the ribosome and prevent tRNA binding okay on the other hand in cyclic peptide example quinupristin it block the translocation okay and another important information that if you use both the non peptide and cyclic peptide synergistically the effect would be right that means if you use the non peptide and cyclic peptide together the effect will be synergistic okay now we have discussed we are going to discuss about the 30th sub unit that is the new topic for today's class so for first first one is amino glycoside so amino glycoside is extracted from streptomyces source okay and examples are neomycin amikacin streptomycin gentamicin tobramycin okay 
so i have told you that it is a 30s subunit inhibitor so it will bind with the 30s subunit inhibitor 30s subunit of the ribosome irreversibly okay it is irreversible binding mind it very carefully so which will cause a change in its shape okay as a result 50s subunit cannot bind with that 30s subunit okay so now as 50s subunit cannot bind so obviously it will interfere with the initiation of the protein synthesis not only that it will facilitate the misreading of the mrna codon right and also wrong amino acid will be inserted okay so you can use amino glycoside for pseudomonas aerobic bacteria gram negative bacterial infection pneumonia enterobacter that is gram negative bacterial infection and meningitis okay so it have also a unfortunate side effect that is it can cause toxicity in kidney okay so amino glycoside amino glycoside will bind with the 30s subunit okay irreversibly mind it very carefully which will causes a change in its shape and as a result 50s subunit cannot bind okay and it will interfere with the initiation and it will cause misreading of the mrna codon okay and the most importantly what it is doing so it will also cause insertion of the wrong amino acid okay so what are the complete uh, what are the treatment that we can done with the help of amino glycoside so various gram negative pseudomonas infection gram negative enterobacter infection gram negative aerobic bacterial infection meningitis uti infection are all can be treated with the help of amino glycoside okay but the side effect is also a very important concern that is it causes toxicity in kidney okay so now we will going to discuss about tetracycline so tetracycline is also isolated from streptomyces mind in very carefully okay so example tetracycline our oxy tetracycline tg cycline minocycline and doxycycline and remember another important information that doxycycline is semi synthetic okay so you can use tetracycline for lyme disease for sexually transmitted disease let's say chlamydia infection and for bacteria bacillus anthrax infection and for pneumonia caused by legionella okay so tetracycline will bind with the 30s subunit inhibitor reversibly and blocks that rna binding at the a site and at, that's how they inhibit the codon anticodon interaction and that's how they inhibit the protein synthesis okay so it have some unfortunate side effects too first of all it will affect the bone development okay and it also causes stain teeth in children and last one that is oxazolidinone it is again a 30s subunit inhibitor but it is newly in the market so example is linezolid okay and it prevent 50s 30s subunit assembly okay mind it very carefully okay so after preventing 50s 30s subunit assembly it disrupts the initiation okay and also interfere with mrna that's how oxazolidinone inhibiting the protein synthesis okay so we are using oxazolidinone for gram positive bacterial infection and for mrsa and vrsa treatment mrsa means methicillin resistant staphylococcal order treatment and vrsa means vancomycin resistant staphylococcus order treatment that means those kind of staphylococcal order treatments who cannot be destroyed with the help of cell wall inhibitors right so that is all about the 30s ribosomal subunit inhibitors we have discussed am i about amino glycoside which binding with the 30s ribosomal subunit irreversibly and that's how they causes a change in the shape of the 30s ribosomal subunit and prevent 50s from binding with the 30s ribosomal subunit and that's how they interfere with the, that's how they interfere with the initiation right and and also it causes misreading of the mrna right and also it causes insertion of the wrong amino acid okay so example of uh, various kind of infection that is prevented by amino glycosides are it prevents pseudomonas gram negative bacterial infection gram negative enterobacter infection gram negative 
एरोबिक बैक्टीरियल इन्फेक्शन एंड मिनिंजाइटिस इन्फेक्शन यूटीआई इन्फेक्शन ओके सो वेरियस साइड इफेक्ट्स इट हैव सच एस टॉक्सिसिटी इन किडनी ओके सो वी हैव ऑल्सो डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द टेट्रासाइक्लिन सो टेट्रासाइक्लिन इज ऑल्सो डिराइव फ्रॉम द स्टेप्टोमाइसिस सोर्स एंड एग्जाम्पल्स आर स्टेप्टो टेट्रासाइक्लिन डॉक्सीसाइक्लिन ऑक्सी टेट्रासाइक्लिन टीजी साइक्लिन मिनोसाइक्लिन ओके सो we are using tetracycline for treating lyme's disease we are using it for treating uh, sort of various kind of sexually transmitted disease for example disease caused by chlamydia along with bacillus anthracis and pneumonia that is caused by legionella right so it also prevents yersinia pestis which is caused by bubonic plaque right and side effects of the tetracycline it affect bone marrow development right and it also affect the or causes stented development in children and the last one that is oxazolidinone this oxazolidinone will also 30th subunit inhibitor and it is a newly antibiotic and example of this is linezolid and it prevent 50th 30th subunit assembly and that's how they causes disruption in initiation and also it interfere with mrna that's how they prevent 30th subunit act as if 30th subunit inhibitors right so it is used for gram positive bacterial infection and mrsa and vrsa treatment so that is all about peptide or protein synthesis inhibitor so we have covered everything that is from cell wall inhibitors where we have discussed about penicillin we have discussed about cephalosporin we have discussed about vancomycin we have discussed about our ampicillin along with clavulonic acid right then we have also discussed about cell membrane synthesis inhibitors right our polymyxins and polyins antibiotic right then we have discussed about our protein synthesis inhibitors for example chloramphenicols macrolides then lincosamides then streptogramins for example non peptides and cyclic peptides then aminoglycosides then our tetracyclines and then at last our oxazolidinone right we have also discussed about dna rna synthesis inhibitors for example metronidazole for example our nitrofurans right then daptomycin and fluoroquinolones right and extra we have also discussed about the folic acid synthesis inhibitors right so there we have seen two types one is sulfonamides right for example sulfomethoxazole and the trimethoprim right and trimethoprim and sulfomethoxazole are collectively called bactrim right so that is all about various kind of antibiotic that we are using for preventing bacteria right so in the next class we will going to discuss about two antifungal drug that we have discussed earlier in couple of times that is grisofalvin and amphotericin b okay then we will going to discuss about some antiviral drug in one class okay so then the, the entire set will be completed about various kind of inhibitors then we will going to discuss about bacterial resistance and then the chapter will be completed so i hope you are enjoying this video lecture series so thank you for listening to my classes